Good evening, boys and girls. Justin here again, drafting another Return to Ravnica draft. I'm going to try something a little different this time, in that I'm going to try to win the draft instead of losing it or flubbing horribly in the deck building portion. Uh, so this time, maybe things will go a little smoother, will be a little more exciting. And starting with this pack, it looks like things are starting off to an exciting uh, beginning. There's a Mercurial Chemister in this pack, a uh, card which I haven't played with much. Uh, I played with it in the pre-release and was quite pleased with it. Uh, I played against it quite a few times. Uh, I think I'll happily take it here. It's pretty clearly one of the best rares in the set. Uh, after that, there's a Selesny Charm, which is still good. Frostburn Weird. Uh, explosive impact. So the chemister I can try to play is it or I could try to play uh, an Azorius deck splashing it or even a Rakdos deck splashing it isn't bad either. So this pack is much less exciting. In fact uh, there are very few cards I'm ex excited about picking. Um, of the available cards there's really only Vassal Soul that I would that I'd want to be picking at this at this point in the draft. Um, an action injunction is playable, but it's uh, very much a filler card. Launch party also uh, reasonable, but not exciting. And then the rest are just middling red cards, the uh, populate card, and dredge beetle, and a bunch of crap. So we'll take the vassal soul that works with our pick. Uh, in this pack, uh, there is. Uh, Liev Sky Knight, which I think works well, although it does push us into splashing the Chemister, as it does have a white man at its cost. Um, I think for me the pick would be between the Sky Knight or the Vassal Soul, and I think Sky Knight is better enough compared to Vassal Soul that it's worth picking here and, and trying to uh, see where that that takes us, maybe into an Azorius deck. Uh, in this pack, there are good cards. There's a Sunspire Griffin, uh, Justicar, Hustler Patrol. In fact, there are no less than seven cards I wouldn't mind playing in this deck. Um, in fact, eight, maybe? I mean, Paradising Grasp, I'm not, wouldn't be thrilled about playing, but it certainly isn't terrible. Uh, there are no red or black cards, m save Golgari Charm in this pack, which is telling. So I have to pick probably the strongest card. A, a safe pick would be perhaps the Tower Drake. A Hover Barrier I don't love, although with Mercurial Chemister it might be alright to sit back on it and just try to win with the Chemister, but that's pretty fragile, and if he dies, he's not that hard to kill. So I'm going to take the Justa cards. I think it's th just the most powerful card in the pack. Um, so this pack, there is much less exciting business happening. Um, in our colors, there's a Pegasus and a Staticaster, if we want to consider still playing red-blue. Uh, in that case, I'm still not excited about Staticaster. I won't immediately discount playing it, uh, running it main deck, but I don't like to. Uh, and then I think if I wanted, if I wanted to stick with red, I would pick Lobra Crew over that, and that's defensive, works with the Chemister plan, and um, it's just all around a decent card for this type of deck that I'm trying to build. Uh, here I'm just going to take the Pegasus. I think that's the plan. So, yeah, unfortunately, there's a second Lobra Crew here. Um, would I rather have two Lobra Crews and a Pegasus? I mean, I think I still like Sky Knight, Justicar, over two Lobra Crews. So, it c things could be going that way. People also just may be valuing Lobra Crew less than I do, which is perfectly understandable. So, I could take a second Pegasus here. Uh, I think the only other pick is maybe Ethereal Armor, and I could try to do that. I haven't done that before. I haven't made the Aura deck. 
Uh, I'll take that card uh, against my better judgment and see where that takes us. So here again, there's a second ethereal armor and an Azorius Arrestor and then some unexciting cards. Savage Surge uh, is fine. A fine card, Gatekeeper's okay, but nothing terribly exciting in this pack. So uh, I would normally take the Arrestor here, but since I'm going, uh, uh, I'm losing my mind and trying to build an Aura's deck, I guess I'll take the armor. And this pack, nothing too exciting. There's a Rites of Reaping and a Monitor. I suppose, of course, of my, nothing I'm, that's really thrilling me. So I'll take the Guild Gaze, possibly, possibly to splash a green. Like I, if I were to ha get past a Selesnya Charm and have nothing else in the pack, maybe I could splash that. Here, I think... There's nothing for me. Another Savage Surge. I think that was, uh, yeah, in the pack that we opened. Uh, I'll take the Sentry. I guess we can regenerate it now with the Guildgate. So yeah, not not much has been happening for us. If we were in Is it, we would have some crappy uh, overcosted, but medium large creatures. Nothing here I want to be playing. So I will take the rare. Search the city. Search I will. Uh, here, uh, nothing terribly exciting. Train Caracal, I don't like. Uh, maybe that's the thing that you do with Ethereal Armor. You armor up a Caracal, but I'm not quite ready to go there. Predation might be uh, trouble for us, but I'm just going to take the Crobod because we need to have creatures, man. And look at look at him or her. It. Those mighty horns and chin tusks. There's a goat in the foreground. I'm going to take a second Gilgate here. And nothing for us. I guess I could take the crocodile. In the odd case where we end up backing <laughs> into a white green non populate deck, which just looks terrible. Uh, so there is a gift for us in this pack, a new prop guild mage. Um, that's just about as good as we could hope to open uh, if we're trying to build an Azorius deck. Uh, I guess I'll hide the search of the city at this point. Um, and otherwise, really nothing too exciting in the pack. Uh, there's a Corsa's Accord, which is fine. Skywatch, which will hope will table it probably won't uh, a couple of other middling blue cards and nothing else really like if I was a a Rakdos deck I'd be pretty unexcited maybe take the jailbreaker and hope to have enough gates to make it worthwhile so I'll take the guild mage and this pack so I think the picks are the pick is between Husser Patrol, Azorius Arrestor and I think Patrol is just better enough than Arrestor. I'm not at the point in the draft where I need to be taking two drops. Uh, although, again, Ethereal Armor might say something different. I really am not committed <laughs> to the Armor deck, as those are my only two enchantments, so I'll try not to get carried away. I also should remember to pick up Is It Guild Gates for my Chemister. Um, but I'm going to take the Husser Patrol here. And here we go. So we have, again, uh, Husser Patrol. There's another Guild Gate. Maybe one of those will table. That would be nice. Um, Armory Guard, which is fine, but I think he's just worse than Husser Patrol. That he only has Vigilance part of the time. We don't have any gold gates that we really want to be playing. Uh, Skywatch again. I, I would like to have a Skywatch in this deck, I think. Um, but I'm not ready to take one yet. So I think the choice is between Apparition, just to have a, have a, a cheaper creature, or a second Husser Patrol. I'll take the Patrol. I'm happy with that. So... Uh, this pack, we've got an Apparition again, Phantom General, which isn't doing anything for my deck at this point. 
A second Vassal Soul, which I like. I think I'm going to take that. And a Swift Justice, which I wouldn't mind having. There's also a Promenade, which is a poor is it guild gate in this deck, but we wouldn't mind picking that. Uh, so this pack is uh, it's between a second Pegasus, Swift Justice, and Action Injunction. And I think, as I said before, I want to take the Swift Justice. Um, just to give me a way to gain some life. And uh, to make creature combat just to give me something to do in combat. It's, it's pretty good with Hussar Patrol if your opponent tries to break through you can punish them with that that plan. So here I have to choose if I want to take yet another ethereal armor which admittedly is pretty greedy. Uh, Rune Wing or Fairy Imposter. There's also a Fall of the Gavel. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to take that. I think Rune Wing is replaceable, so the pick is really between Imposter and Armor. So far, I only have... I have two... Shoot, I'm going to take the Imposter. Uh, I have, as I said, two detained creatures, which she's good with. I hopefully can pick up some number of Void Wielders and or... Um, Azorius Arresters. So I think that's that's good enough at this point that it's worthwhile. Ethereal Armor, I could have taken, but as I still only have those two as my enchantments. I don't have any arrests, uh, which I think is the way that you need to draft that deck, knowing nothing. Um, is that you want to start with some good enchantments, and and then that you want to play anyway, and then you can start taking the armors, and and it's worth worked out. Uh, this pack, nothing terribly exciting. Um, I think I'm going to take the armory guard over the second century. Here there is nothing really for me. Haven't seen. Uh, I think there was a guild gate, and is a guild gate in this pack, so it's between inspiration and a, what, like a point two ticket, rest in peace. I'll take the inspiration, what the heck. Um, yeah, I'll take a rare, Nivmagus Elemental, which I could play. I do have instants, such as Swift Justice. Surprise! Um, I don't, I'm not planning on playing that. Uh, here I can take a second Armory Guard and not be happy about it. I'm certainly not hoping to play this many two power four drops, but you could do worse. I think I have, I've reached critical mass for guys to put on the ground, and I see that Swift Justice tabled. 